What's up guys, it's Aaron Nitmar, and welcome back to another episode of Smash Ultimate Costume Origins. Today we're of course tackling the latest addition to the second fighter pass, Kazuya Mishima, who comes to us from the Tekken series. On top of his costumes, we'll also talk about the Mii Fighter costumes that dropped alongside this DLC pack. So buckle up, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's jump in. Kazuya's default appearance is based on the modern incarnations of the classic appearance that he's had since Tekken 1. This design has received some updates throughout the series with additions or removals, but the core tenets of the design have stayed the same, with red hand and foot wraps, the pants to a martial arts gi, and no shirt. His alternate appearance has him wear a full suit along with a trench coat. While Kazuya is no stranger to wearing formal clothing, this specific outfit is based on his appearance in Tekken 7, the series' most recent title, and specifically from certain points of the story mode of that game. So it's kinda cool that Kazuya's two appearances are based on his oldest and most recent looks. The first alternate color turns Kazuya's pants a dark red color, and it also darkens the foot and hand wraps that he wears. This color is taken directly from Kazuya's appearance in Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection. Dark Resurrection is an updated version of Tekken 5, including new characters and additional features to the game. The default colors of the game were also changed, and this red became one of Kazuya's new default colors. The next color turns Kazuya's suit white, with portions being purple and red. This also comes to us from Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection, where he wears some formal wear that is the same color scheme, though obviously the actual clothing that's in Smash is a bit different. Next up, we have a costume which turns Kazuya's martial arts pants blue, but keeps the hand and foot wraps the same. The outline of the flame on his pants is also made silver, and the belt is made a bit darker. This color scheme takes inspiration from the Player 2 outfits from both Tekken 1 and Tekken 2, and it sort of combines them into a single costume. Both outfits have Kazuya wear blue jeans. The Tekken 1 outfit features red hand wraps and red tennis shoes, which are maintained for the Smash costume. But the darker belt is likely pulled from the Tekken 2 outfit, as he wears a black belt there to hold up his jeans. Next up is one of Kazuya's most popular looks, which is an entirely purple suit. Kazuya has worn purple suits multiple times throughout the series. In Tekken 2, his Player 3 outfit is a purple tuxedo with an orange tie. In Tekken Tag Tournament, he again wears this purple suit, though it's a bit more metallic looking than usual. And in Tekken 5, his suit is once again this purple color. The movie Tekken Blood Vengeance also gives Kazuya a purple outfit, though it's likely just because they seem to love putting him in purple more than anything else. The last recolor for Kazuya's first appearance gives him black pants and a black belt with gold trim, and it turns the design on his pants red rather than purple. This outfit is based on Jin Kazama, Kazuya's own son who was introduced in Tekken 3. Jin has had default appearances that use this color scheme in many Tekken games, and specifically it's his Player 1 outfit in his debut game. And finally, the gold suit, which makes him oh so shiny. Sakurai said that this costume bears resemblance to the golden decorations from the original Tekken game, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't entirely know what that means, so if you want to drop a comment letting me know, that would be awesome, because I just couldn't find what that referenced. More recently, Tekken 7's customization has golden metallic costumes available as an option, so this costume comes from that as well. And those are all of Kazuya's colors, but of course we have Mii's to talk about. Everyone's favorite segment where we look at the deconfirmed characters for this round. I'm so sorry. First up, we have Lloyd Irving. Lloyd comes from Tales of Symphonia, an action RPG originally released for the GameCube in 2003, but later releasing for the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and on Steam. Tales of Symphonia is the fifth installment of the Tales series, developed by Namco, the same developers of Tekken. The Tales series first debuted in 1995 with the Tales of Fantasia game for the Super Famicom, and garnering 16 main series titles to date. Lloyd is the protagonist of Tales of Symphonia, but like any good RPG, you pick up other party members along the way. Next up, we have the Dragonborn. The Dragonborn comes to us from The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, the fifth in the series developed by Bethesda. And I don't need to explain Skyrim really to you guys, everyone knows what it is at this point. The Dragonborn is the title given to the player character, a mortal who is born with the soul and power of a dragon. While the player is free to customize their character's appearance, gender, even species, the game canonically has a character that it considers the official character, and this Mii outfit is based off of that. And now for the real heartbreaker. The next costume is based off of Dante from the Devil May Cry series. 
Devil May Cry is a series developed by Capcom with its first title in 2001. The protagonist, Dante, is a demon hunter who sets out to defeat the demon lord who is responsible for killing his brother and mother. And then a whole bunch of other crazy stuff happens. While Dante has had many appearances throughout the series, the Mii costume is based off of his appearance in the original Devil May Cry game. And the final Mii Fighter costume is Shantae. Shantae comes from the Shantae series that saw its first game released in 2002 for the Game Boy Color, simply titled Shantae. She's a half-genie who has the ability to whip her hair and change into magical creatures. Having fallen on the back burner for a bit, Shantae's had a bit of a renaissance in recent years, causing her surge in popularity as a character choice for Smash and her subsequent Mii costume creation. This outfit also comes with a song, Burning Town, which is a recurring song throughout Shantae's game series. This version of the song comes from Shantae, Half-Genie Hero, the crowdfunded title which was released in 2016. And that is going to do it for this DLC drop. It's hard to believe that we have exactly one more of these left, but we do. We've got one final character, and then we're done. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time for one more Costume Origins video. Until then, peace out, and please remember to be good to one another. Hey, you, you're finally awake.